Viewers, in this diagram, our objective is to calculate angle ADC. So this is my angle ADC, let me call it alpha. Okay, so what is our alpha? That is our objective. Now, to get this alpha, what we need to do is, this diagram is a trapezium. But there are some modifications that can be done to make it easier for us to calculate this. Why not just let's split this into two angles? And um, splitting this into two angles is going to give us an insight on what to do. Now we have a rectangle, we have a triangle. These are the two things we have. With this, let's see what we can get from here. Now looking at side AB, it's going to be equivalent. Let me just call this side E. So side AB should be equivalent to side CE, which should also be 3 centimeter. This also gives 3 centimeter. Now, with this, let's correspond. BC is 4 centimeter. AD is 7 centimeter. That shows that AE can also be 4 centimeter while ED or DE can be 3 centimeter. Now let's look at this triangle. This look like a right angle triangle, but in the real sense it's not, it's not a right angle triangle. Why? Because looking at the hypotenuse, these two sides cannot give this hypotenuse. So it is not a right angle triangle. So in that case, we can use Sokatoa to get our alpha. So either we use the cosine rule or we use the sine rule. But how do we do that? How do we use the sine rule? How do we use the cosine rule? Let's simplify more. Now, looking at this, if I have this side AC, okay, we have a very bigger triangle now, okay? We have a very bigger triangle. And here we have our angle C in this place. And here we have your angle A here. Now, let's get the size of this of this line ac for us to do that we can use um pythagoras rule of what a b b c and a c and for us to do that then we can say that let me name this side b because it is facing angle b then i can have my b squared to be equal to 4 squared, which is the opposite square plus adjacent squared. And here I can have my B squared to be equal to um, 16 plus 9, which is 25. And my B can be equal to 5. So this is 5 centimeter. Now we have a very bigger triangle now. And um, what is the triangle we have? We have this. So now we have our angle D, C, A. This is not drawn to scale, please. And here we have alpha. So we have this side, which is 7 centimeter, 6 centimeter, and here we have 5 centimeter. So with this information provided, we can use the cosine rule. And what is the cosine rule? Here, I can say that cos alpha equals to a squared plus c squared minus b okay b squared divided by 2 a c don't forget that this is my b this is side b this is side c and this is side a so when you plug in the information from here when you plug in the information here we can have 6 squared plus 7 squared minus 5 squared dividing this by 2 times 6 times 7 okay now simplifying further here I'm gonna have cos alpha to be equals to 36 plus 49 minus 25 Dividing this by 84. And here I have my cos alpha to be equals to 
because the numerator is going to be 60 divided by 84. And here, alpha can be cos inverse of 0.714. And finally, alpha is going to be 44.4 degree, approximately 44 degree to the nearest whole number. And then what is our alpha, which is angle A, D, C, is approximately 44 degree to the nearest degree. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any question or suggestion, put it in the comment section.